Oh, shit. Now I need black boots. Now I need black boots. It's decided, but ooh. Ooh, 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 it is beautiful. Let's pull it out to admire it a little, shall we? I'm kind of in a safe area, so... Look at that. See how it's like painted over the wood with the spray paint? Ugh, so cool. It's okay to admit that you're the leather daddy, G up. I think everyone already kind of knew. <gasps> Water, yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, a tuner is good food. I'm gonna swap it out for this skitty. What color we got here? More black? When someone puts a single Mosin round into my face, I'm gonna be kind of sad. <laughs> the black tracksuit jacket, tempting. I like the police uniform. Shoddy rounds. Man, there's a lot more loot going on. I will say that. I will say that. A lot more loot happening in this update. I think they're starting to find a little better balance between survivalism and actually having things to loot. You know. Just my opinion. On Halloween, I had a communist soldier outfit where I had a red jacket, an army helmet, a sickle, and a rifle. <laughs> it was pretty sick. I was a red army soldier. Best Halloween costume in Daisy in a... Can I drink from this or no? Is this a non-drinkable? Oh, that's a shame. I got all excited like I wasn't going to die of thirst. <laughs> Salute a little bit, then head down to the coast and maybe murder some freshies. Oh, baby. I mean, no. I'm a nice guy. Would never kill a freshie. And the coat's tempting, but the police jacket gives me authority. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Rifle scope, variable zoom, should be attachable to the carbine. It's not. Of course it's not. I'll take it though. Why would that not be attachable to the carbine? I mean, the carbine probably can't shoot that far. But I could still slap the scope on there, you know? Fuck, let me hide in this shed and drink some beer about it, you know? <laughs> what do we got? What is that? Oh, it's another leather kit. It's just on its side. Alright. Cool. So we're finding a couple of these new items already, which is exciting. I'll say. I'll say. SNRX, I can't paint my uh, wellies. Nope. I think it's because they're rubber. Probably wouldn't stick. But you could conceivably spray... I don't, I don't know why I can't spray paint this axe handle black though, you know? It's kind of weird to me. This axe is fucked. I need to get a better primary weapon. All right. So I think it's time to diddle around on the coast some here.
running and panting simulator. 2014. Ooh, I gotta drink me some water. Stake, the PlayStation 4 will be a year old next week and there's yet to be a game release for it. Do 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 <laughs> This message brought to you by the PC Master Race. Yo, am I on the north coast actually? I might have um, I think I overshot the airfield and I'm on the north coast. Uh, might be, might be. Pretty trippy. I love how beautiful this game is though. I'm getting really nice FPS too. Like, that's impressing the hell out of me. Is the continual optimization of the frames. The immersion is real right now. You know, playing DayZ is like just, you know, kind of immersive explorer. It's really fun. I think people kind of pass up on the opportunity to enjoy the survival aspect because they're so focused on trying to get a good spawn and get into PvP right away. Just exploring, looking around, enjoying the scenery. You know, fighting to survive, making sure you get food and drink and stuff. Can be all very enjoyable as well, you know? Let's see if I can drink salt water. Yep, salt water does not count. Moose, am I down for more Arma 3? Dude, you, you know it. I might be down for Arma 3 here in a little bit. After some, some more DayZ here. Is anybody, by the way, on the infinite couch uh, joining off me? Or if you don't want to play hardcore and someone is still down to play, I'm down to switch it up to third person if you want. I'm not 100% where I am, though. <laughs> uh, as soon as I find a town, I can tell you. Drink all of it, it's empty though. I'd be drinking all of the nothing.
mistake. Uh, Destiny looks like a lot of fun. Looks like a great game uh, because it spans the gap between hardcore and casual. So it's something you can play with, you know, your non-hardcore nerd friends. Or you can get super hardcore nerd about it and go for the best gear. Destiny looks solid. I'd love to play it myself. Come on, PC release, right? I'm sitting here considering, like, maybe... I wonder if I took, like, a quick cold shower to try to cool down some. You know what I mean? If it'd be more comfortable to keep streaming. I could probably take a shower pretty quick. I mean, AD's not that crazy. It's just... I think it's sitting in the same hot temperature for so long is what gets uncomfortable. Any of you guys from the Infinite Couch want to take a shower with me real quick? Uh, low pro. Unfortunately, I'm actually in my living room with the front door wide open. And I have all the windows open, so I've got, I'm like as ventilated as I can get. And I got a fan sitting in the, like a fan that comes up to my knees. Sitting in the, the doorway, like trying to pull in the air. The problem is it's just like, it's actually hot outside too. My house is only a couple degrees hotter than it is outside, so. I think it's just because like, back in the day, California didn't get so hot, so they didn't need air conditioners in most houses, but now it seems like California gets hot enough that you probably do need an air conditioner. SS14, we all know that you love the group shower. But low pro, I'm basically like streaming outside. Like... <laughs> Oh shit, night butt's asleep. Uh, I can get him. Hang on. Let me, let me get a night butt here. Night butt, you're, you're needed in uh, the channel, please. <laughs> ooh, or if, if someone wants to come fan me with some palm fronds. Ooh, that'd be good. Hello, night butt. Please join the channel. Alright, it's actually because Nightbot restarted, so it should be back in a moment. He's coming back. Someone brought up a good point, though. They said I should go see John Wick tonight. Movie theaters have air conditioning, so... I think maybe when Bean's off work, we might go see John Wick. I'm dying of dehydration. This is going to be a tragic end to what could be a very cool character. Because I can't find any fucking potable water. But. <laughs> that might be an idea, man. Hit up uh, John Wick tonight. Get a little bit of that blissful central air going on. I love Keanu Reeves. So. Sure, I would enjoy the Wick. Oh, okay, I think. I have a decent idea where I am now. That's good. Yay! Yay, I know where I am. Uh, so... I went to the south... East point of Trenoris, and now I'm heading up... The eastern coast of Trenoris. Uh, but I'm probably going to die of dehydration unless I can find a water pump. You know what? I think there's a water pump inland here. If there's not one in this backyard right here. And I can always loot up real quick for... Drinkies. Drinkable drinkies. So I don't fucking die of dehydration, you know? 
with a canteen in my hand. Empty. Sucking on it. Hoping, praying for a sip of water. Like an animal. Mate, I need a Pepsi. That's right, lad. I need me a Pepsi. This is gonna be looted all to shenanana. Get the fuck out. Falafel, bring me a beverage. Please. Oh, mighty Falafel. I know there's a water pump inland a bit here. You just gotta scope the barn real fast, just in case there's something good. Thought it was a peepsy. I'm gonna die of dehydration, guys. Fuck this earth. Quick one, quick one. Alright, that might be a plan. Go see little John Wicky tonight. Might do that. Might do. Look at the lack of color, guys. This is going to be some dramatic death. I hope everyone's ready. I hope everyone has their Bible thumps ready. Everyone go ahead and pull up twitchemotes.com. Get ready. I, there's not enough emote spam in my chat, and I'm sad about it. So pull up twitchemotes.com, y'all. Get ready to spam a llama. When I die. Is there a water pump right here? Based. Fucking god. Did they break water pumps so you can't use them anymore? In this build? There's no more water pumps in Daisy's? Is that what you're telling me? What if I have a canteen? You tell me you gotta find like a river or a pond? Do, do the water pumps, the wells don't work? Is my canteen's empty? Tell me. Oh man, we're gonna leave some treats in this barn for somebody, I swear. Um, unless there's a sodi in here. I, I don't know, because it is the new patch, I don't know if that's an intended change or if it's a current bug. But it does not appear that you can drink from water pumps anymore. Nor can you fill items from water pumps anymore. It looks like your only choice is um, finding a pond or a river. So perhaps that is going to bring the water purification tablets back into the game be quite cool because they right now have no real use you know so that would make the water purification tablets be a, a vital thing See if I can make it to the next house and maybe there's a pipsy did I just break my legs I just broke my legs okay I'm just gonna die in the barn here very beautifully and dramatically You always have to die with your pants off. It's best to die with your pants off. My fucking legs, man. As I was going down those steps, I was like, I'm about to break my legs. Sure enough. Shit. You're taking a while to die, man. I mean, you're tough, but I kind of don't want you to be tough right now. Maybe I can crawl up here and fall to my death. Really? Speed crawling now, baby. Let's go. Can I climb up these with the crawly crawl? 
I don't think so. I don't think I can. Uh oh. Maybe I can roll up on it? If only someone would come up on me right now, it'd be beautiful. Can I roll up? Oh, you know I can. Oh, you know I can roll up the stairs, baby. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to kill ourselves. All right, fuck this earth right here. Nope, didn't do it. Oh, there we did. Yes. Rolling up that stairs. All right, please, please spam your your things. Have things to spam. So beautiful the emotes. Did this screen beautiful too? Just you are dead. Sit here and contemplate this screen a little bit, guys. Shall we? All right, so so far in uh, the update, wells no longer provide water, all right? There is a leather sewing kit that could be used to stitch up leather goods and your own body, apparently, which is pretty cool. And I think that's all the new shit we've encountered thus far. The engine itself seems a lot smoother. Uh, every time it's better, so that's great. Let us contemplate our our own mortality here for a moment. Let's do a little third person. Shall we? You guys down for some 3P? I'm down. Let me grab another brewski real quick. Then we'll hop on a non hardcore server and continue exploring 0 0.5 of Daisy Standalone. Big ups, everybody, chilling on the infinite couch. If you're having a good time, please touch me in my follow button. I'll be right back. Yo, how perfect did that shit sound right there? Is that not the perfect can open? The beers keep me cool, you see. I think the beers keep me cool. I'm actually hype, it's like, it seems like it's down below 80 right now, it's like 78, 79. I'll take that little bit.
Yo, good question, Zach. Um, the backgrounds you see. I need to add some new ones, by the way. It's just uh, there's a video plugin for OBS where you can play videos in the background, and then it's just uh, MP4 files. That's it. Uh, there the files themselves are actually from. Uh, my partnership with full screen and part of that is up oh. oh. do you like my Halloween costume Man. yeah where are you supposed to be I'm a red army soldier I was a I was a bike messenger a minute ago. I had a helmet and everything. It was awesome. <laughs> nice man. Oh wait, I've I've still got Halloween treats. Yeah, I heard that. Could be audio bug. You want some Halloween treats, dude? Yeah, man. All right, I'm like that old lady who only gives out fruit though. So. What you got? Oh, dude, that's. Perfect. There you go. I got an orange for you, man. There you go. It's on the ground. Do you want a kiwi too? Oh hell yeah, man! Nice, there you go. And I went to school. Rude. Very rude. I'm sorry, Davo. Very rude. We could have been friends. Just smash my head in. Get it over with. See what happens, you try to be nice. Damn. <laughs> he's not killing me though, he's just letting me lay there. What a weenie. That dude sounded like either someone from the stream or someone that I know in real life, which is creepy because I'm playing on a server that's like hosted in my neighborhood. What the fuck? That's weird. <laughs> sounded like my neighbor across the street, I'm not even shitting you. Fuck. Scared. Uh, the server performance kind of seemed ass, though. Eh. Yeah, it's kind of laggy, the server. I don't know. I'll stick with it for a minute. I don't like having to hop servers all the time, but this server is not nearly as good as that other one. Probably because it's hosted in my neighborhood. GPV, don't talk about New Year's Eve, man. We we said we don't talk about that anymore. <laughs> Yo, he wasn't an asshole. He's just trying to survive, you know. But yeah, people are kind of assholes in Daisy. It's like when you play on hardcore servers in DayZ, it's like an intense tactical experience. And when you play on softcore servers, it's all the idiots. <laughs> for, for you know, lack of a more polite way to describe it. It's all the dumb people. But say la vie. That's how it always is, you know? Like, difficulty is like a filter for weak people. Boy, I wish I had some damn inventory space here. I have a feeling I'm about to die anyhow. Ooh, is this pristine? Pristine skate helmet, baby. All right, new item. Interesting look. I could role play as like, you know, a special person. Lay down here. Have some pipsies and perhaps a banana. Low pro, you'd run solo in Daisy? Hell no, man. I've been trying to build a squad for a long time in standalone, but I don't have enough viewers that uh, have the game. Uh, but I'm I've been 
aching to have a good squad of people to run with in like various games. Arma mods, Daisy mod, Daisy standalone. Squad play is best play, you know? Can I reach up and get the banana? Quick lay down. Incognito banana eating. Keep our eyes peeled for these scum. What are these? Blue jogging shoes? I think they're better than athletic shoes. They're an upgrade. Hell yes. Best footwear in a... Night hydrated. That's good. Relax on the pipsies. So I think they give you calories, so maybe I have to drink the pipsy. <laughs> that Lopro, you do raise a point. You have to weed out the assholes uh, to get a good squad. So yeah, I definitely don't like to squad up with assholes for sure. But I mean that that was really an asshole move. Like I've done shit to people like that before. You know, sometimes you're a nice guy, sometimes you're not. He just wasn't being nice right then. You know, I'm not gonna hate on him. I'm just being a nice dude right now, I think. I don't know, though. That that experience might have changed things. I might be brutal as fuck right now. They don't even know what they got into. Uh-uh. What we got here? Not Call of Cthulhu, so it's not worth picking up. That's for sure. In before shot in the back. Nah, 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 nah. Um, as far as weaponry around here, I think it's possible to find some shit in those warehouses over there. So let's beat feet over there and see. Giappa should continue the cycle of hate. Nah, man. Nah, man. You gotta end the cycle of violence, bro. Hype. It'll do. It'll fucking do. Can we paint crowbars yet? Sickle. Uh, I think crowbar is mo better. could be a scrub and jump to my death, but where's the fun in that, you know? I ask you, where is the fun in that? Mm -hmm. Did I just get a welding mask up in here? Baby. That's a new item. <laughs> oh, man. Look at this guy. Hello. 
Damn! This is worth the whole playthrough right here. Oh my god. That <laughs> GPV, you love Takistan, huh? Do you play Takistan or do you just love watching me play it? Yo, the welding mask. Uh, the server restart. That's fine, man. The server had ass performance anyway. I have an excuse to leave. Alright, we'll, we'll grab another server here momentarily. I won't bother to turn on me necessarily. It'll be a short break. Sip my beer a little bit here. what actually why don't we make this a full-fledged break go ahead just take a take a moment here it's been a minute oh yeah Yo, what is good everybody chilling on the infinite couch i definitely appreciate it got some awesome regular viewers in this channel we get cool new faces almost every day of the week we are in the last scheduled O show for this week. I'll probably do a bonus stream over the weekend. Uh, but usually the schedule is Monday through Thursday, live by 5. You can find the usual stream info below the video if you're on the Twitch website. Um, and there's a bunch of different chat commands you can run to get more information about the stream. But let's all take a break here, stand up, stretch, refresh your beverage, be good to yourself. Um, and then after a few minutes, we'll come back with s some more DayZ, checking out the 0 0.5 update. The mod could maybe drop the link to the DayZ dev blog, that'd be sick, so people can check out the patch notes. And Devo, myself, shall be back with you. Momentarily.
Yeah, what is good? It is the O Show. Thanks for your patience. Thursday, November 6th. Holy shit. We're gonna do. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. We're gonna do a bit more. Daisy standalone, exploring the 0 0.5 patch to the alpha. Uh, but not for too much longer. Because Mr. Devo has to cool off as it's hot as hell. So it's feeling slightly better. Overnight, it can get down pretty chill, but it gets pretty hot during the day. You see that beautiful server list? Um. If someone actually wants to run the Steam command, you can get a link to my Steam profile. And that's probably the easiest way to join off of me, uh, if you want to play. I'm playing some softcore right now, so it's third person. Um, right now I'm just looking for a good ping here with a high number of players. I'm looking for uh, ones that are on an SSD in particular, so we don't get that weird lag we had. This one's pretty good. Yay! Uh, uh, it, we're not synced where we had the welding mask though. That's a shame. That's a shame. <laughs> I wonder if I could use a defib offensively on people, but I don't think I can. Yeah, the Steam group is a decent place to, uh, look for people to play games with, like multiplayer games. I can agree with that for sure. Gamevox is pretty good too. Uh, I usually idle in there and, and try to get into the appropriate channel when I'm playing. Though I don't think I even did that right now. <laughs> but I try to. Okay, I try to. All right, let's see. I'm tempted to grab the hat there, but I think this helmet will protect me from getting knocked out. Hey man, better than nothing. An interesting build. Oh, these are pretty fun to use. I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I like the questions the server asks you down in the server messages. I don't know if you guys are catching that down the bottom left. Pretty cool. <clears throat> oh, look, a beer in the game, dude. I'll do it in real life too for maximum immersion. Hey, 
Kajambi? Cattle prods are awesome for zombies. <laughs> they knock him over. I think they two shot him. <laughs> Is my battery already out? That battery lasted like so few hits. Just kill me. Just kill my life. Just do it. That battery lasted so short a time. Oh. Ow. Uh ow. Uh ouchie. Zombies are threat in standalone, as you can see. Yeah. Definitely. Zombies are a huge threat in standalone. Mm hmm. Uh, they can be if you don't have a way to if you don't if you're not good at dealing with them. I mean, they'll make you bleed. This zombie killed this zombie. Did you guys see that? He killed her. What a beast! Killing his own kind. Zombie v zombie violence. Damn. All right, thugs. Let's do a couple more lives here, and then I think I'm gonna be signing off for the evening. Maybe one more life, maybe two. Probably one more. Yeah, let's call this our last life, because I'll keep playing all night. And Sharon did give a good point. I should take care of myself and make sure I don't overheat, you know? That's like a thing, a real thing. The zombie thug life. Yeah. It's a undead eat undead world out there, basically. Ooh. Some of the horticulture stuff. They added uh, fertilizer. Garden lime. Agricultural lime, a soil additive made from pulverized limestone or chalk. Primary active component is calcium carbonate. Additional chemicals vary depending on the mineral source and may include calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, and magnesium carbonate. And as a gardener, I can tell you this is a real thing. Lime is something you really add. So they're they're going to be advancing the horticultural aspects of standalone. I'm very excited about that. You know me. Ah, so when you break them, you actually take it into your hands temporarily now. And you hold it in your hands. Until you put it down automatically. Ah, oh, that's a good change. I like that. I like that quite a bit. Because if you didn't have flashlight, you would be using a chem light as your light source running around. I really, really enjoy that. And what if I drop it on the ground? Does it still light? Ah. Uh, ah, I unbroke it? Let's see if we can drop it while it's lit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or have they eliminated the ability to craft witch huts? What if I throw it with G? Ah, uh, then it stays lit up. Okay. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like the changes in controls there. That makes them more useful. If you're actually using chem lights on a night server, you can tell they're gearing up to making it viable to run nighttime as well as daytime. Right now, from a gameplay standpoint, nighttime's not really viable, but I'm looking forward to when it is. Imagine, like, waiting for night to raid the base, you know? So that they can't see you unless they have NVG or something. Ugh, it's gonna be so good, guys. You know, I have a lot more success fighting. I love the lighting from the outside, by the way. In third person, or first person in melee, but let's test some third person here. Let's test it out. 
I want this guy to swing. Alright, that looked like he was on his nose. That one got him. That one got him in the head. Uh, you gotta aim slightly above their noggin, it seems. And by slightly, I mean a lot. I'm probably gonna bleed to death here, but I'm kinda just testing out this third person fighting. So if I basically... I can't use the reticle really at all. I just gotta aim the animation, basically. Did I kill him? Oh shit, I'm not gonna die after all. <clears throat> so that's something they gotta work on. Have I played Zomboid, uh, Silly Moose? Unfortunately, man. I don't have it. Uh, it looks like a great one, though. Low Pro asks, are the updates slow for DayZ? Uh, Standalone has actually only been in development for a year. And I think people have an artificial impression of Standalone, and here's why. Most games you can't play from day one. Most games, even when you see an alpha, an alpha's been in development for a while. With standalone, we've been able to play the game essentially since the second they had a playable version. So while it's seemed like a long time, it's actually only been a year. And if you take a look at day one Daisy standalone versus one year out, it's quite different. Um, so I don't really know that it does have necessarily slow updates. Though I will say that Bohemia Interactive is uh, known for taking their time in order to get things right. <laughs> Moose, you don't gotta do that, man. It's all good, mate. But yeah, I will pick it up at some point. It, it looks like a good one. If you're not familiar, Project Zomboid is a uh, isometric zombie survival game uh, with a quite more in-depth system, given the simplistic graphics. So there's things like breaking windows, locking and unlocking doors, yada yada yada. Um, you can grow plants, that sort of stuff. I think Mazo's here. Mazo also recommended another, it's like a roguelike, that's like ASCII graphics. I can't remember what it's called though. <clears throat> but you, it's it's similar. It sounded a lot like Zomboid as far as the gameplay. Uh, but you can grow weed. Which is a plus in any game in my book. Alright, we got another cattle prod, but it doesn't really last as far as the uh, ammo, or the battery goes. Did pick up a pristine SKS. Thank you, Base God. Thank you, Base God. Pristine SKS? Holy fuck. That's great. They're just fucking around. I don't play this mode a lot. This softcore, the third person. I don't play it a lot, so I don't really care about my characters on it. I care about my hardcore. Cataclysm. Yep, that's it. Couldn't remember. Lil B follows me on Twitter. Did you guys know that? So does Andrew WK though, so you know. They're they're down with the O show. They're probably watching right now. I know Andrew WK loves the Daisy stream, you know? Actually, a person. There's some people that follow me on Twitter that blow my mind. Ganja Sufi follows me on Twitter, and he like lives in the area. Um, that blew my mind. Diabetes, like whoa. I don't know if you've heard of this diabetes guy, but he's pretty pretty funny. He's a he's a chuckle factory. I'll tell you what. <laughs> this barn's been looted to Kingdom Come. There, there is a Nauticola. 
Not nearly as good as a Pipsy. That's the fighter act fighter fighter axe tune. What a great weapon. Firefighter axe. Absolutely my favorite melee weapon in Daisy Standalone. Especially when you paint that baby green. Ooh. The camo on it is devilish when it's green, because it's green and black. <coughs> It paints the head of it black instead of red when you paint it green. I think, if I remember correctly, maybe it's like dark green or something. But either way, it's awesome camo instead of this fucking fluorescent. Hey guys! <laughs> Twoder. Twodiddler. Yeah, a lot of people find my content via ret spray and then are uh, disappointed that I'm not like really negative. <laughs> I think I was a lot more of a hater in my youth. A lot nicer now. Like I want to, um, I want to buy Queenie Z like a, a ceremonial copy of Eternal Darkness because I feel bad. Can I use this to open up food? I'm gonna take it. Uh, it takes up two slots. Fuck it. <laughs> because I think that's how most people find my content is via. Red spray. Wait, what the fuck? So it does make it a little tougher to make my witch huts, though. I gotta break it. Make sure it stays in my hands and then toss it. Bing. I'm chill. That's what this world needs. Well, it's, it's nice of you to say, Alex. Um, I just really enjoy live broadcasting and video games. So. Twitch is like heaven for me. I watched an absurd amount of Twitch. I would say Twitch is like probably one of my main like hobbies, you know? I love having it on the background even when I'm like working on other stuff. Except for what I'm writing. Oop, that teleport. But for the most part, cooking, chilling, working on stuff, cleaning the house, whatever. Twitch is what's up. <clears throat> A lot of people hate on it, but I think it's probably one of the coolest things to come around in a long time. A lot of really high quality content comes from Twitch, and a lot of very low quality con content also comes from Twitch. And that's just how it goes. Yeah. I wonder if you can stitch yourself up with a normal sewing kit. You can! <laughs> that is hype as hell, dude. So now you can use sewing kits to give yourself sutures in the game. Isn't that fucking trippy? Alright, can I spray paint uh, hard hats now? No, still can't spray paint hard hats. Alright. So we're a very colorful survivor right now. Goose, you don't know how normal Let's Play survive? I do, man. There's a, It's a total different feel. It's a totally different feel. Um, it's something you can watch a lot, like a whole game in one sitting. There's definitely a place for pre-recorded stuff. I just don't watch a ton of it. What I usually do, I'll sit and watch like a whole Let's Play in one sitting, but... Uh, for the most part, I prefer Twitch because of the versatility of what you can do with it. You can play with viewers, you can have viewers control the game, you can do giveaways, you can have contests, you can uh, have like tournaments, you can like just whatever. It's like having a TV station in a way that YouTube isn't. 
And I think it's due to the live nature. Even if you're running pre-recorded content on your channel in addition to live content, it's still a lot more dynamic than YouTube, I feel like. Cuttlefish believes that one day I will hold the power to make a choice. Saving or destroying the universe. And we shall all stand witness. You know what I would pick though, right? You know what I'd pick. Well, I mean, not a whole lot of action happening right now. Um, so I do apologize for that. Kind of just wandering around, gearing up, checking out the content. Decent number of players on the server, though, so we should see some people sooner or later. Ah, dude, the RP is there now. Keeping the match is because I can use this axe to make a fireplace uh, once I get some room to carry it around. I usually tend to play a hero in Daisy, uh, kind of. No one in chat say, no one disagree. I'm a hero, <laughs> so I like to have a fireplace so I can have little barbecues with people. I think I'm only really mean in Overpock. Let's be honest. In Overpock, I will kill everyone. I will watch you spawn. Watch you run around a little bit and then put a round of 308 through your nostril. Yo man, speedrunning is fascinating, but uh, kind of like I saw Squint mentioning on Twitter, I'm a slow runner. I appreciate speedruns for what they are, but I kind of play games in the opposite way. Though, I will say Binding of Isaac speedruns intrigue the hell out of me. I feel like if I got into speedrunning any game, it would be Binding of Isaac. Yeah, Quakes were the original speedrun men. Quake is where it all came from. SS14, I agree. Speedrunning does lose its novelty after a while, but I've discovered some really excellent Twitch personalities via speedrunning. Some great folks out there. Though, despite like the countless hours of Twitch I've watched, I have to be honest in saying, with not without blowing smoke up y'all's ass, that y'all are the. I heard of a soda. Definitely the most articulate and intelligent Twitch community I have experienced. Um, incredibly generous people. But the thing that stands out, even beyond that, is just how the chat, while not ultra active, is always like very high quality. I think the popularity of speedrunning is great till the tank. It, uh,. Kind of pushes people to do more interesting things with it. Like uh, one of my favorite speedrunners is this guy Lobos Jr. Because he does speedruns almost with like a theme. Like challenge runs, you know. 
He did uh, tons and tons for Dark Souls. Like a bow only, or uh, I can't even remember them all. So I love seeing stuff like that. Taking speedrunning to an even more creative place than just beating the game as fast as possible. It's like beating the game as fast as possible naked. Or like beating the game as fast as possible with this really weird setup, you know? Yep, I, I it's Link Jubilee. I figured you guys are smart enough not to click on malicious links. And I trust you guys enough to post links that are useful, so fuck it. Just don't be a dick. Nightbot isn't trigger happy, man. If you use caps is like the only thing that he filters anymore. And you can even use caps, you just can't use caps in a way that's clearly annoying. <laughs> so like you could type stalker in all caps, you know, like the game. But if you tried to check like a whole sentence, Nightbot would get salty. You're on mobile and you can't quick click links? What uh what mobile app? Switch mobile like most of the time. Are you using some oh almost broke legs? Some shitty mobile app. Ooh, green combat boots. Damn, I'm loving this character. I'm gonna get attached to my third person character, even though I never do. I normally don't give a shit. Did Nightbot finally become Chillbot? Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Alright. Um, hit up Mista. This is like my route. You're on Android Twitch? Alright, Cuttlefish. There's your problem, Boo Boo. You need to go in the Google Store and you need to look up Vortex. And you need to download that thing, and you can thank me later. Don't use that, um... Don't use that horrible Android app, man. Use Vortex. Do yourself a service. Oh! <laughs> oh! You want some, too? You needed a piece? Huh? Eh? Uh -huh. Oh, who else needed some action? I, I can do this all day. I hear you. Where are you at? Uh huh. I heard you coming. The build is real right now. The fashion is like off the chart. <sighs> Don't you, uh, ain't you got that Wi Fi connection, my dude? I rarely actually use my mobile data. Though I am an American, so I do have mobile data. In America, they have great internet, man. It's crazy. Even in like these kind of hick places that we're moving. Um, which we're doing on purpose. We like hick places. Got, uh, got that good interweb. Is this the right size? We'll find out. Are those brass knuckles? Are you serious right now? Holy shit, they added brass knuckles to the game. And the description is literally just hit them hard. These are 7.62, but are they right type from my SKS? No, they're, they're the 7.62 long. I need 7.62 short. 
Brass knuckles, guys. What the fuck? Paint that SKS. Ooh. Paint that axe. Oh my god, Becky. This build right now. I never want to lose this character in my life now. Drink that beer. You've earned it, sir. You fucking earned it. Look at your build right now. You've earned it. Break this chem light. Alright, you break it. Alright. Throw it right down. This is your victory hut. Fucking right. Now you lay on the ground. You drink a beer. Because you have a beautiful black spray painted SKS and axe. And this clothing that matches and the hard hat. Look at this. We're RPing as the heroist motherfucker ever. Ah, so good. You're on Vortex now, Cuttlefish. My work is done. My work is done here. Uh, to be honest, ah, oh, the server went down, for fuck's sake. To be honest, uh, that $30 a month unlimited plan is pretty rare in the United States now for mobile data, unless you had it a long time ago and never lost it. Alright guys, the, uh, server's restarting, so let me see if we can hop on another one. You guys don't mind, actually, just give me a quick moment here. Text the old girlfriend. You know, it's actually not that hot anymore. It's pretty nice. Down to play some Daisy here. And Cuttlefish is so hype about Vortex. I love Vortex, man. One of my goals as a streamer is to become one of the channels that's on the recommended channels on Vortex. That's one of my goals. Um, for now. Whatever. <laughs> Let me refresh these servers, guys. If you guys have a good time tonight, if you enjoyed yourselves on the infinite couch. Who was here for Stalker earlier? The fact that Bloodsuckers just spawn around me now is pretty fucking terrifying so I hope you guys enjoy seeing me shit my pants big ups to everyone who's still here if you're around for stalker earlier hope you guys are digging checking out the 0 .5, 0 0.5 patch of daisy I've already found several of the new items uh, discovered you can suture yourself with sewing kits got a welding mask in there skate helmet uh, all kinds of shit you're going great uh, let me sip a little brew here, find a good server, and we'll be ready to party. You're still stalking Mazo, nice. Maybe you'll, you'll uh, stream some when I'm done. No worries, Moose. I specifically picked you because you're in a different time zone. You're a great guy. So you can retire your blade for the evening, sir.
per what you guys are talking about in chat, I just avoid the situation altogether and call you cuttlefish. Looks pretty good. Up on nothing. Stare Joe, I didn't call you Star Joe. Don't you go blaming that shit on me. I didn't do that. Oh no! It didn't sink prior to spray painting. Though it did sink after we got the, the knuckles, so I guess it's not all bad. Um, oh yeah, let me hop in the Daisy channel real quick in GameVox, see if anybody's down. It's playing. Where's my standalone fools at? Come play with me, shit. Uh, what color is this one? White? Yeah, I haven't seen the white ones since the update. They used to not work. Uh, now they illuminate, just... Pure white. That's pretty good, actually. Or if you're using it as a <coughs> flashlight replacement. All right. Well, we can loot up Mista all the way again. Because I'm on a new server, so let me hit the barn and we'll come back around. Do -do 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 -do. That's my running around song. Oh yeah, you're super geared on Daisy, but that's hardcore, right? I'm playing softcore right now. I'll switch to hardcore if you want to play, Maza. Your call, though. Let me know. It's gonna fuck up the fashion a little. Now I look a little more like an English gentleman than like a good, good red-blooded American, you know. <sighs> Man, I kind of want to play more Stalker. Would that be funny? Go back. I really am, like, addicted to streaming. Like, you might catch me streaming, like, twice in a day. Wouldn't that be freaky? Go green. It was the green I was thinking of that has the black handle. I like that look a lot for camo reasons. Alright, so we painted it up. The type is fuck. The SKS looks awesome painted green. Amp, you got Arma too. Uh, I I love Overpock. I'd be down for that. <laughs> you have Overpock set up. Uh, the easiest way is if you run Overpock in my chat. Exclamation point. Overpock. Uh, give you a link to the CCG launcher. Just do that. Go to connect to an Overpock server. It'll download what you need, and you'll be good to party. I play on US three. US number three for the Overpock. Uh, look, we got some seeds. Here's another new item. Mater seeds. Alright. Try them out. I mean, we are right next to a barn, you know. Makes sense. Let's grow us some maters. Can I, uh, can I plant them right here? Well, how do these work? Citizen Jim. What's good, man? Thanks for following the channel. I appreciate that. That puts us one step closer to unlocking Chivo number two at 2,000. Big ups, man. Thank you. Glad you're digging it. Get cozy on that infinite couch. Uh, let's test out the tomato seed, shall we? How do these work? I put them in my hand. Okay, I can search the ground for stones now. Do you see that? That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't think I can just plant tomato seeds from my hand, though. I betcha I need a shovel. Okay. Uh, we'll hang on to them, though, in case we find a shovel so we can test them out. 
Man, I'm loving that I'm finding so many of the new uh, patch items to test out. We've tested a bunch of them so far. Please don't shoot me, you need a shovel. That's what I figured. I like that name, dude. <laughs> What a goofy name, I agree, man. But it's my favorite way to play, is Overpock. Standalone is getting there. Peace out, Moose. Uh, Mazo, did you say you wanted to play uh, some DayZ? I'm on Softcore, so I don't really care about this character, but we can do Hardcore if you want to actually gear up. It's your call, man. It's cool if you don't want to, though, because I may not stream that much longer as well. It just depends, you know, what kind of demons possess me. Don't shoot me. You found uh, your first tent the other day in standalone. Nice. That's great, man. Brings back memories of the, the tent bases. In um, Daisy Vanilla for Arma 2. I honestly, that's the one thing is like Overpock has full on base building a la Rust. And I honestly prefer a little bit more, there's our shovel, uh, the style uh, I that, that Standalone is going toward, which is more barricading existing structures. While you can do that in Overpock, most people build these big, sprawling, stupid looking things. All right, let's uh, let's try out the tomatoes, man. We got a shovel here. Um, unfortunately, we have to temporarily put down my beautiful axe, but that's okay. This is for the sake of science. I just want to make sure it doesn't fall somewhere stupid. Okay, perfect. It's like right there, actually on the floor. Leave that open so it looks looted. Maybe someone will leave it alone. Though I might be able to plant maters in the yard. Didn't uh. You mentioned a greenhouse. Can I really plant them in a greenhouse? That would be hype. Don't this have one in the backyard? Or one of these houses got to have a greenhouse around here, right? Alright, we'll try it in this open patch right here. Can I even do it? I literally have no idea how to use this. Do I combine this shovel with the seat? Is there only certain types of ground I can dig? Maybe? What about this? This is like a patch that's growing other stuff. Nothing, huh? <laughs> ah, you need a green- you need a greenhouse. You can't just grow them outside. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm a redneck in real life. And that's not true. Tomatoes will grow fucking everywhere. They're a, they're a weed, basically. They're a vine. Sometimes they'll choke out other shit. But you definitely don't need a greenhouse to grow no maters. I need to call Dean Hall and be like, listen. Deanie boy. <laughs> we need to talk about these maters. I don't know if there is a greenhouse in Mista. I don't think that there is. Hello, is there a greenhouse? I don't think so. I don't think so. Nay. Oh well, we'll just loot it up the rest of the way. If it's greenhouse only, that's not quite as exciting. Still pretty cool. No, I know what you're talking about. It's that uh, little blue thing with plants in it. But I appreciate the tip. I would have been fucking around with that forever. That's the kind of backseat gaming I like. When it's helpful, you know. Later, shovel. Serving me well. 
And we keep the brass knuckles for lulls. Maybe uh, if I encounter somebody, I can give them the brass knuckles and get them to punch a zombie or something. Be kind of cool to watch. <clears throat> or have a freshy mono e mono punch arena. The winner gets the brass knuckles for being the punch out king. You know? You gotta do community building events in the apocalypse. <clears throat> Keep everybody happy. Water the crops with Pipsy? Nah, I gotta use Brondo or whatever that shit from Mediocracy is. Alright, we got pristine, we got pristine. Different look, same space. Uh, I like the look of this better, but the camo of this is better, and the dapperness, I think, saves it. If it was a different color hoodie, I'd probably take it. But red, nah. Though, actually, with the false, like, landscape, nah, I think it would stick out. The check coat kind of breaks up my silhouette. It's a little bit better camo. Oh man, Tony Hawk is some of the best series of games of all time, guys. People who watch my stream always have the best taste, man. I love it. Man, it's a very calm night of day Z. Not a lot of people, are, like standalones, not as blown up as it once was. But I think that'll change as more content's added. Overpock is always hopping though. <laughs> it's definitely not the whole immersive survival thing. It's more of an action shooty 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 thing. But that's kind of my cup of tea as well. So. Yo, please don't shoot me. I appreciate that follow, man. That does put us one closer to uh, 2,000. Unlocking Chivo number two in the 24-hour stream. Big ups, man. I appreciate it. Get cozy on that infinite couch. <laughs> Drop some of it. I dropped 97% of it, bruh. <laughs> Let me eat the, like, tiny scrap left in the bottom. <laughs> Cuttlefish, same. I love when uh, people play games together because they met in the stream. That's like the whole reason I made a Steam community. Um, I don't really see any other point than just to have a place to meet each other in game, you know? <laughs> Especially because like in Unturned, for instance, if you tag yourself as part of the Steam community with the Osho, other people that do the same thing will show up as friendly to you in Unturned. And more and more games are going to be implementing that Steam uh, group shit, I'm sure. Gaben will demand it. Wow, pretty hype about that. Um, that's one of my favorite weapons in the game, the Longhorn. It will fire these rounds, and we're about to take it, <clears throat> as long as I don't starve to death. We will need to make room. Uh, so, need this and this. Brass knuckles, you gotta go. Tomato seeds, you gotta go. The Longhorn, you gotta stay. Load it up. Ooh, I love this gun. This could be one of my favorite weapons in standalone right here. The Longhorn. It's a mini Mosin. It's uh, It fires the Mosin round, the Long 762. And it has a built-in scope. And I've used this thing effectively up to shit. 700 meters, I would say. 
Um, another set. Don't mind if I do. With the sutures from the sewing kit, you now don't have to carry around a shitload of rags anymore. Oh man, this is nice. You guys haven't had video game bros in forever? Well, that's my challenge tonight. Is find someone from the stream tonight to play a game you like to play with. That's my challenge. Tonight's stream, you should go away with a new video game bro. Alright. Welcome, Citizen Jim, by the way. I'm curious, you guys, uh, you new faces tonight. You found through just searching DayZ, right? The DayZ section. I'm always curious to see how new people found the stream. Because I'm I'm really not your average Davy streamer. <laughs> but I am really addicted to Arma games, so um, I play them a lot. But I think I'm probably a lot more chill than your average Arma player, I suppose. But I love murdering people, like don't get me wrong. I will kill you immediately. Daisy TV. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful website. Nice. So it actually auto aggregated my stream into Daisy TV. I didn't even have to list it. That's great, man. Uh, a lot of great people I've found through Daisy TV, like Sacriel. Sacriel's awesome. Uh, he doesn't play a lot of Daisy anymore, but I love the Sacriel. Uh, better. RAP ability to make fires. Unless I find a bag in here. Starving is, you know, a problem. Uh, Mazo, if you want to play, if you joined off me from Steam, uh, I'm on, or I'm on Mista, if you want to come to Mista. Jim, you found via Slow Beef? Nice. Did someone plug me, I suppose? That's very kind of them. It, it always sucks to get plugged toward the end of your stream, though, because you're like, I want to keep streaming for the people. Alright, so there's the leather sewing kit. That's a new item. Um, basically, you can no longer use the sewing kit to fix leather goods, but you can fix leather goods with this thing. Both of them you can use to suture yourself, though, which is why I don't have any bandages. You saw me in real life once, now you stalk me. Awesome, dude. Well, bring me, like, a burrito. You used your pineal gland to find the Osho? I figured that's how you got here. Uh, oh, another great Daisy streamer, uh, don't shoot me, is uh, Sada Plays. Sada Plays is, like, my stream role model. Ooh, there's all kinds of food in here. We might be okay after all. Hallelujah. But yeah, I feel like uh, hardcore survival games attract a very uh, distinct type of player that's someone I jive with for sure. Also really into this uh, Arma 3 mission called King of the Hill recently. But uh, the main thing I've been doing on the channel recently is a playthrough of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Well, big ups to whoever plugged me. Was it like tonight? Did someone retweet my stream or something? I've been streaming. Well, I've been up uh, in live just about six hours now. Uh, I was hoping I could turn it into ammo bandit mask and then I could like kill people, you know, guilt free. Wow. I'm actually gonna be alright a little bit here with food and water. Yo, enjoy the lurk zone, cuttlefish. 
Lurk zone is normally where I dwell. So I feel you. Ooh, that longhorn though. Love it. Love it. So lovely. Probably my favorite gun in the game. Please don't shoot me. You watch DayZ videos while you take a dump. Nice. Thank you for sharing. Does, do you feel like it helps you take a shit better? You know? The murder. Kind of calms down the colon. Is this alcohol right here? Yeah, you can use that to... Improve the quality of your bandages. Nice. Gotta eat these foods here, though. So I noticed that you can actually drop a lot more of the can goods when you open them with a non-can opener. Like an axe. Uh, for instance, again, I rolled 97% loss, so I got 3% of those beans left. <laughs> That's pretty brutal. That's new. Uh-oh. I'm really addicted to Stalker though, like, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be playing some Stalker every time I stream until I beat it. <laughs> I'm loving that playthrough. Mass Effect was hella fun, great story, but Stalker just grabs me by the cojones. I have so much ammo for this Longhorn, I'm probably going to like actually run around with it. <coughs> Uh, Mazo, would you care for me to wait for you uh, in Mista? I don't really want to hop on VoIP until, uh, or hop on Gamebox until you're here, you know? You can search the chicken hutches for feathers now. Ahaha, uh -huh. I presume that's for crafting arrows. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, if it's all the same to you, Mazo, I'd like to just, uh, we'll, we'll do VoIP. Once you get here, that's fun. Heard that reload. Blast ya. <laughs> At this point in your life, you. You can poop on your own. Well, that's, uh, that's good. I mean, like, you know, does it have, like, a laxative effect? You know what I mean? Like, kind of, like, if you have a cup of coffee. You know what I mean? Does some work downstairs. Low pro, I wish the feathers were to make fabulous headgear. I would duct tape them to my... Hard hat and declare myself the Baron of Mista. Hello, I am Baron of Mista. Uh, you will pay tribute. There's a person in here. I'm gonna kill him. Nope, nobody. Well, I would have killed him. It would have been instant death, baby. I don't think the hard hat protects me from getting knocked out or anything. At least it didn't used to, so... Go for the fashionable look here. And eat some peaches. How many hours do I have in standalone? Uh, I'm not sure. I've played far more Daisy mod than I have standalone. A 
steak, that's what I was going for. I was hoping that older viewers would be able to use the show to induce a bowel movement, yeah. <laughs> well, don't shoot me. I would kill them politely. I'd be like, sir, do you mind if I temporarily store a 762 long round in your skull? No? I'd give him the option. He could say no. But, you know, sometimes you misclick. Things happen. Alright, Mazo's got a red skater helmet. Alright, alright. Don't kill red skater helmet. <gasps> Heard footsteps. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, it's a Pumba! You're dead, Pumba. You're fucking dead. Pumba? Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Pumba. Told you this is my favorite gun. Love that thing. R.I.P. Pumba. Yo, every zombie in the game? Nah, I'm not gonna waste rounds on zombies. You crazy? That Pumba's dead. For scaring me like that. Mm-hmm. You're a beautiful dancer, sir. R.I.P. Pumba. Oh, the huge manatee. You can skin them and stuff. It's pretty cool. Uh, shoot me. Why were you curious about the number of hours I put into Daisy standalone? I think I probably have like 420 hours. I think I'm doing okay status wise, so if Mazda's on his way, I should probably wait up here. Like never anything in deer stands, you know. I always check them like a dummy. All right, well I can Overwatch on some Mista for for a time here. I'll park up here for a moment and. Uh, how close are you, Maz? Mr. Mazo, how uh, how close are you to the the Mista area? Ah, you're curious how uh, people learn to play. I see. Okay. Um, well, I've watched a lot of streams. To be honest with you, um, I think the best way to learn how to play games is to watch streams of good streamers. Even if the streamer is not necessarily MLG at the game. Um, you can kind of learn through their mistakes, so even, you know, ain't watching any gameplay at all is going to help you. Uh, I try to be a streamer that you can ask questions of. I do a lot of tutorials that I post over on YouTube and stuff, so. So feel free if you have any questions, but, you know, I will admit I'm not the best, but I'm not the worst. Does that make any sense? Let's sip some brisky here and see where Mazda is at. I feel very blessed with this gear. I hardly ever play third person Daisy, so you guys are in for a treat. I'm almost always doing hardcore. <sighs> Running from Electro? Mista? You can run just inland, right? That's all you gotta do? It's a straight shot? Kind of hoping maybe someone spawns in the area and rolls through. Let's me politely. I don't know if I'd kill a freshie right now. I'm pretty geared. I was blessed, so I don't want to 
Fuck other people over. Uh, we probably find a better spot though. More foliage. You can turbo crawl. There's regular turbo. That's new. I mean, it's not new in this batch, but it's relatively new. OG, yeah, a lot, uh, a lot of things. Original gangster, probably, yeah. It also has been said to stand for outdoor grown. You know. Uh, but it's mostly because I've I've been Davo on the internet forever, and I kind of like stopped making videos and stuff for a long time. But now I'm back. Uh, but people had snagged my name, <laughs> so I had to figure out a way to get. So I like I added the OG. I think it works well for my personality. Orange juice. That's right. Orange juice and gin. That's what OG stands for. Outdoor grown, original gangster. Um. There's a lot. I mean, come up with one. That's what it means. Good old Longhorn, buddy. I tell you what. Old guy. There you go. See? Perfect. Old guy. Definitely works for that. Definitely hearing reloads. I don't like it. But it's hard to tell where sounds are coming from in this game. Let's stand up and run around and try to draw fire. <laughs> huh. Probably good. Might move it around a bit here. Is it you I'm hearing, you little bastard? Huh? Huh? You little fucking... Gonna walk around and make noise? You little goat? I can't do it guys. I don't know if I can do it. Oh, there's someone up in those trees I bet. It's gotta be where it is. Or that's an audio bug. It's really hard to tell and stand alone to be honest. Think it's ambient reloads? I think it could be too, yeah. Uh, it's kind of like if anyone in your network bubble reloads, you have a chance to hear it. This is a good run, yeah. But I don't play this. I don't care about my third person characters. I only care about hardcore, man. This is just for funsies. It's, uh, it's kind of more what I do on stream because you guys like to see the outside. Uh, but when I'm getting really hardcore on it, I like to play the old hardcore. <laughs> Obviously. That little baby goat. <laughs> Pee little baby. See? I did it politely. Thank you for your sacrifice, goat. To the blood god. I will be remembered fondly. For all time. Alright, so like, th you can do shit like this in third person Daisy, which is why. Is there someone, like, here? Like, right here? Th I can't, like, that a that reload sound is stressing me out. It's stressing me out. Can I pull out the axe? Go ahead. Didn't even make me bleed. Welding masks. 
You hurt my shit? Yep. Alright, I keep that reload is killing me right now. <laughs> it sounds like there's someone right here, but I don't think that there is. I think it's just a bug. But like I was saying, you can park yourself like this in a tree, and then third person and look around. Hardcore is just a more immersive, intense experience for me. Daisy standalone is kind of slow paced enough as it is, you know? But this is a little more fun to stream because you get to look at the character and stuff. OG owned goat. There you go. Um... But you know, you gotta do a little bit of everything. Never just one thing. If I played hardcore all the time, I'd be tired of that. Please allow me to check my phone here. One moment. John Marson, yo man, thanks for following. I appreciate it. That does put us one closer to unlocking Chivo number two at 2,000 follows. Which will, of course, unlock the 24-hour stream. I appreciate it, man. Big ups. Grammar tonight has been affected by some OG. Yeah. I could see that. Speaking you know, speaking of, let's, let's let OG Devo himself get to a little safe spot here and maybe affect his grammar a little bit, too. What do you say? Uh, did the stream with Stalker and everything earlier look and sound alright for you guys tonight? I know that was like six hours ago, but Stalker and Daisy both looking good still. Very tricky to get Stalker and Daisy to look good and Arm 